Hey everyone, and welcome to Venba. Um, this is a new game I'm excited to play. I'm Pen, and I will be a host on this adventure. Let's play. This one actually looks really charming, so I'm excited to play it. This is on Xbox. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good advice, honestly. Oh, that bed, uh, that blanket looks fluffy. As long as it's like good fluffy and not scratchy fluffy, because that's awful. Leaving already. Ayo, hey, oh, sorry, did, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired or nauseous? Uh, let's do tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? Uh, there is some leftover... Uh, Idli? It and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some Italy's real uh, quickly. My brain keeps reading it backwards, so it's I L D I, and I keep messing up the word because for some reason dyslexia doesn't like that word. But it's Id Idly's. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. Uh, it's just it Idlis. Very easy. It'll take me too long, Vember. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes. Vember, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. <sighs> okay. She's not feeling great, huh? That's a cool mask. Remember. Nice. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make Idlis are uh, never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when f I'm feeling sick. Should I make them her way today? Hmm. The recipe is still readable, that is. Oh, we got old recipe books from our grandma. Um... So, yeah, I know what it's like to want to make that instead. Oh. Recipe. Italy. Plate, towel, cooker, ingredients, water, and batter. Uh, also, let the steam through. Uh, these also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to... Uh, I haven't made it... Uh, at least on this kind of plate before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes in the plate. The recipe also calls for a towel. I'm not sure why. But Amma swears this method makes the at least a lot softer. Okay. So it's like this. Water. Put it in. Rotate. Light batter in rotate. I'm assuming this is is how it's supposed to go. I've never made anything like this before. I think it's a pressure cooker. 
like that kind of device that I've never used one before okay let's see how how this went ah it's done okay I hope her uh, headache fixes itself Wow, well, you even took the time to make our faces. Ah, How cute! I think you forgot about the beard though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Idlis. Uh, Vember, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pavalion? You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave, uh, what will I do for lunch? I still have to cook. As exhausted and sick as I am, you just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? Hmm. You're right. Sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes. It's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know, there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave it with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. I know. I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. <laughs> is she pregnant? That's what I'm guessing. Oh god. Her hair is so messy. She is not feeling good. Vemba, are you home? What did the doctor say? Oh, she cooked more. So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Uh, okay. At least again? Uh, uh. What has gotten into you today? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Very subtle. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive, though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. Yeah, that doesn't always matter. As long as the ki a kid is loved, they don't notice. Uh, what if they resent us for, for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. 
What do you think, Vemba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavalion, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? I mean, if you're genuinely worried about their mental and physical health and well-being, that shows that you're going to be a better parent than a lot. Being outshunned by one's child is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. That is true. Yes. That is always the best. My name is Pavalian, sir. Pavalian, sir? Uh, Kevin. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Oh god, where are they? Yes, sir, I've managed to transport... I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? What's your, where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. <laughs> Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Jesus Christ. Bribery works. <laughs> Yes, sir. Bachelor's, a bachelor of science in, in physics, sir. Ew, that towel is so dirty. Here, yeah, wear the shirt, can I? No! Oh. Uh, but, sir, you can just take me on on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kanna. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kanna. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Oh, that's got to be disappointing. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. I didn't buy the hundreds of units of in inventory story. Uh, I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. Well, my beard. Uh, this is a phone interview. Your clean shave theory doesn't hold water here. I spend half of these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Uh, yeah, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Uh, did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Sp speak in Tamil, uh, uh, Well, what's wrong with that? It's the... It's only one letter that's different anyways. Uh, names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name, after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name, and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. <laughs> He's brighter than us, Vimba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. 
You know he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate uh, the Kana. I don't want to butcher phrases that aren't in English. I, I feel really bad. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Ooh. Can we order pizza? <laughs> Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. How about something better? How about we make something at home? Like, parota? Dosa? Uh, id idia... Idiapam? Ghee dosa? Uh, Briyani? Curry dosa? <laughs> he really wants dosa. I don't know what that is, but alright. Uh, no, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. New pizza all the time. Kevin, have you heard of Putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. It reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yeah, and a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. <sighs> <laughs> That's some serious trickery there. Will it look real? Will it really look like a rocket launch? Hmm. Do you want to sing? All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe on it. Hopefully, it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flour first, duh. Alright, let's do this. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Alright. Something with a ch uh, chunks of rice? Okay, so let's do the first step. So... Alright, let's make some flour. Where do we get to the rocket part? Soon, I'll be patient. Okay, so they said this. And this. Okay. Well, the recipe says adding flour to the rice is the final step. You think this is right? It's a bit chunky, isn't it? Uh, Puja flour should be slightly wet sand. I think we need to use the serve. Let's try again. Oh, right. I gotta blend the rice. Can I just blend it? There we go. Um should shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. Okay. Is it like... Well, is this is just not gonna... Okay. I'm not sure what to do with the chunks. Can we blend them again? Okay. Shaky shaky. Okay, blend the chunks. Okay, I think we're good now. Okay. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I hope this is really how you do these recipes, because I would make this. Okay, combine 
the rice with the water. Can we put it in here? I think this is perfect. Why does it feel like a f like flour even though there's so much water? You have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Okay. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Emma, when will we get to the rocket? I mean, soon, obviously. Okay, now what? Oh god. Uh, Alright, this is straightforward. Assemble the parts so the water and steam cooks. The tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order the coconut can crumble easily. Okay. So, the bottom use the water. This. Okay. So, put the coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. So, okay, so we do coconut, then two of these. Coconut, then two of these, and coconut, and then the lid. Alright. I think I understood. It's launching time, Kevin. This is kind of cool looking. Oh, I bet that smells fucking amazing. Wow. That was so cool. Remember, I can't believe it didn't fall. Emma, can we do it again? <laughs> Aww. Look at that. That looks yummy. Oh my god. We're unable to offer you a secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Oh, they're in financial troubles. So that sucks. Is he asleep? I think so. Kevin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience will keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. It's all about you know who here. Well, let's do it's all about you know who here. And we barely know anyone. Uh, it's about who you know here. Okay, my brain is not working with words. Uh, we're not in a position to pick and choose our help. That's fair. I thought moving here would be a ch chance to start over. That even here we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on the Putu uh, today. Uh, you're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. What's well, not like teaching back home? It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up. Get them in the mood to learn, you know. But it's harder here. Just ha have to do with Kevin. I just feel that there's a wall between me and my class. And I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? Uh... It just feels like he's growing further away from us. 
The other day he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's a, in a different world than us. Hmm. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He's not interested in any. Let's do. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if it's the other kids making fun of him for it, or if he's embarrassed. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too, but we choose to bring him up here. Oh, we chose to bring him up here. Uh, not him. We did it uh, because we thought we'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, and values. We can't pick and choose the, the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yeah, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Vemba. He'll turn out fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? <laughs> That's cute. Ooh. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Okay. I mean, that's fair. So, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm going to enjoy playing this game because I really like learning new food and new recipes. It's really fun to then bring things like that and uh, make them for my own family. I love finding uh, traditional recipes from other countries and, and try to make them with like respect and like genuine um, learning. Rather than going, oh, well, I could make it better here and here. That I feel like that's can be really disrespectful. Um, I make a lot of different Asian foods uh, and a lot of European foods. Um, and I really also like making curries, but I know that there's more than that to India. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to play this game. Because, oh my god, learning about the different yummy foods from a different country that I can make myself is just so exciting. And also, I have a sister that bakes, so if I can't make it, I know she can. <laughs> Alright, so if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and uh, join the Embarrassments, which is what I call my community. And I hope you're having a great day, wherever you're at in your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!